Uh, right now, currently, for those of you guys just joining us, we actually have Dark up two games to one on Innovation. Uh, these have been some really, really great games that we've seen tonight, and uh, I don't know what it's gonna what is gonna happen. I don't know who is gonna win this at all. But again, um, like I was saying before, there's this uh, app that it's actually StarCraft, as you can see. You can make votes and you get points and it's really awesome. I just changed mine. Shh. Can't see. I'm not telling right. you. So my I'm going AC, back and forth on this one. My AC is on. It's hot as crap, but you know what? I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna, you know, power through it. Cause I'm not missing any more dark innovation action for uh -uh. for just, you know, for just being sweaty and hot, you know. No, I have my whole window open, like the whole neighbor could he can hear me casting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to get your whole neighborhood into StarCraft 2, right? And then I have to do the same thing for my They're neighborhood. They're all like retro gamers. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> so They're like, this get an it's... emulator. Let's play Super Nintendo. And I'm like, yeah, I got one, but I like StarCraft. <laughs> oh, Super, Super Nintendo, yeah. We need to... um. If you're a caster, what you got to do is you got to just open your window, open your doors, and cast out so loud that people hear you. Come come by, see what's going right. on. Right? <laughs> just well, put a giant sign on the door. <laughs> yeah. Even when the, uh, even when the, uh, well, even when the cops come, you, you invite the cops to listen to the StarCraft 2 cast, and then the cops quit so that they can become StarCraft 2 Sorry. Casters. Yeah. So... I, I don't I don't know about you, but we got to do whatever we can to get this scene growing and growing and growing. So if that's what it takes, then Novea. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your mother, <laughs> tell your father. <laughs> exactly right. Tell your opa. Tell your kids. <laughs> tell your wife. <laughs> Ooh, I've just just been informed that our raffle is temporarily put on hold because it has gone down on us. Uh, the, oh. the bot in charge of the raffle has gone down on us. So sorry about that little inconvenience there. But don't worry. That doesn't affect Dark versus Innovation at all. No. So if you want to know if you want to know if you won the raffle or not, you just need to follow us on Twitter because we are going to post up on our Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash polygonsc2. We're going to post it up there who the winner of the raffle is. So don't worry about that. Also, I've been informed that I'm not having any more mic uh, cutout issues. So I'm really happy about that. Let's hope it Yay. stays. Let's I know. Let's really <laughs> hope it stays, okay? Because I've I've been burned more than once in casting these Polygon Invitationals because of this stupid audio issue. I, I, I don't know. Have you, had to, have you had to deal with technical issues before? Oh, so many times. So it many becomes times, frustrating. Right? I mean, computer... <laughs> They do dumb things. <laughs> yeah, it like it like it makes you so angry that you just don't want to do it anymore, you know? Does it make you so mad you rage? Does it make me so mad that I rage? Well, I rage on the inside. Okay. That. That's good. Yeah. I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna make it obvious to the crowd that I'm just like, <laughs> just like this whiny crybaby who's angry. Right. My mic won't work. My mic won't work. What's going on? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's working now. That's what matters. Definitely. It looks like we're playing on Belshire Vestige. I think I said that right, but uh, Belshire? I have trouble print. Uh, Belshire. I can never pronounce mountain names very well. <laughs> uh, it's just Belshire. Yeah, Belshire. Yeah. If it was Shire, there'd be an E at the end. You're correct. You are <laughs> correct. That makes sense. And I'm the one yeah. that's supposed to speak English as my, you know, first language. Oh, whoa, whoa! Hey, now let's. Hey, now, hey, now. I'm, t I'm dissing myself. I'm dissing oh, okay. myself here. Well, English is my first language too, I'm just saying. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Thought maybe because you lived in Korea that it wasn't, but this I map, I do really like this map though, because uh, like there's there's different routes that you can go on uh, just to be able to, you know, get get by. There's two different sides of it. Like it's a huge map for a one player map, but uh, on, moving on with introductions, we have spawning in the upper left-hand corner playing as the Red Terran. We have Innovation. And his opponent down zero one, but now is in favor two one score. It is dark. Novia, yeah, did we're... you get a chance to watch uh, pro league games when both these players won SK Telecom T one? 
Uh, I'm not sure if I watched that specific one, but I do keep up on it. I did watch a bunch of games of them playing uh, actually this past week just to see how their styles were, just to make sure I understood them. Oh, you didn't watch Pro League? The, the, the greatest team league ever? I, I've kind of been out of the scene for the past year, like I said. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, Pro League's been around since, like, forever, though. Oh. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 reason oh. Why, the reason why I bring it up is just because uh, when these players were on SK Telecom T1, uh, Dark was called the ace of SKT. He was, he was called, like, the best player, like, the ace of SKT, and people were like, wait, how is that possible? Like, it, it should be, like, Innovation or Sue or Classic, right? So this Dark. goes way back. Yeah, this was Dark was like kind of not well known, and so people are like, "What? Dark can't be the ace of SKT. He's not good enough." And then Dark just like kills everyone in Pro League, and then he's like, "What up? What up, guys? Yo, what this up? is me. Yo, what up? <laughs> this is me." Right? And yeah, that's the thing about Dark is that he has that's those funny. So situations. It's, he's coming back, and oh, man, look at. So now on, on this map, you know, it looks like Dark did open with the pool, the early pool to get that or early speedlings again. He did go for the fast expansion as well. Yeah, the and... thing is, Dark, Dark knows it works. He understands that the fast speedlings is what allows him to shut down the Reaper Scout quickly and allows him to shut down any sort of three racks Reaper pressure, as we saw in the previous game on Proxima Station. So, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, exactly. Right. The first game that we saw, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that he got the speedlings a little bit later on the very first game that he had lost. Um, the, he, you know, the Hellions came in. He wasn't able to get, you know, too many connections with those links because they, they he didn't have speedlings for quite some time. Okay, so what we're seeing right now from Innovation with an Armory here and then met Reactored uh, Hellions coming out. So he's going for a Marine Hellbat pressure. And this build is very very strong if you're if you're if your opponent is just not expecting it like here we go the innovation is coming in now he's turning in the hell back now dark knows. but dark yeah is he it's ready like, for it no he's not i don't think he's ready for it we do oh, not he's... have the baneling nest even down oh, and he's really going to need links. yeah oh he only has links there is absolutely no baneling nest now and he's actually gonna <laughs> These queens are going to go down. Are they going to be able to transfuse? I don't think they have enough energy to be able to do so. We have them coming in right after they kill these queens. They're going to be able to kill so many drones. Oh, the drones were all spread together, clumped up for that one. We do have a couple speedlings out. He might be able to clean this up, but the loss of mining time again and just the drones that he lost. This is going already in Innovation's favor, and he is coming back with more units. So innovation is continuing to apply pressure right now. He, we do have a, we do have a good situation here for Dark where he did force innovation to retreat. So this is really good. Now he yeah. has a, some breathing room, but he needs to realize that innovation is doing a raven follow up, and he does see it now. The auditor down catching the scouting overlord. But now Dark is like, well, now I have to. Not only do I have to keep my lings around to keep track of where his hellions are, but now I have to make sure my drones don't die to auto turret. So now Dark is in a yeah. very sticky situation. Oh wow, yeah. Innovation over here actually finding these Lings already kind of knows the opponent likes to go, you know, with the Ling run by is coming oh. around the side. He's actually going to be able to, you know, get all of these Lings down here. Oh. And I mean, he really needs those. There's still a lot of Hellions on here. We do have four Queens though in the front, four defense. So it looks like, you know, Dark probably will be able to defend against this push here. Yeah, I don't know about you, Novea, but those were some dead links. Yeah, they just, were destroyed. Oh, uh, they just, no chance to live. Yeah, alive. they got surrounded and everything. Okay, this hurts Dark a lot. He's supply blocked. He's supply blocked, and Innovation is preparing for a second attack now. So he is in, he's in some situation. Yeah, a lot of queens, though. Uh, these queens, I don't know how much, don't think they're going to have enough energy to do too many transfuses because they are pretty new, but they are going to be able to, you know, defend against this for now, but does he have any Banelings yet? We do not have any Banelings yet from uh, Dark. I really think that he needs these Banelings in this attack because, you know, if he loses these Queens again and these Hellbats are able to go in and do more damage, that is not going to be good. But, the, thing yeah. about, the thing about Dark and Banelings is that Innovation knows Dark likes to go for a heavy Zergling style and the late Baneling mesh. So this build is to expose that and abuse that fact. The Ravens, the Hellbats are so good at taking down Queens and so good at taking down Lings. 
So Innovation is playing this very well, understanding exactly how his opponent likes to play, reacting to his style, adapting to how the game is supposed to be going around, and now he's comfortably going up to three bases, and, and Dark's in a bit of a situation right now. He's, he's not droning up as heavily as he'd like to. We, we, we mentioned before, Dark is a greedy player and likes to grab a lot of drones. He hasn't yeah, really so that also definitely abuses that factor too, like you were saying. Oh, but <laughs> there's a bailing nest, Novea. It, it's there is now, now, finally. Yes. Is it finally here? Yay, it's we have there. the Baneling Nest. And the, the layer's about to finish, so we're going to see Baneling speed. So we're mm -hmm. going to go into that standard TBZ macro game soon. But the yeah, I think that he's, you know, he might be throwing down a Spire eventually, too. I mean, he's, yeah, it he seems like, you know, his, his uh, Muta build that he likes to do versus Innovation. Here's the question, Novea. Did Innovation do enough damage to force Dark to play catch-up, or... Is Dark still in a good position that he can still retain map control and keep innovation on his toes? You know, I'm going to say that I think that he still is in the position to be able to do the second one, to be able to do that. Uh, he didn't really lose too many workers there. He did lose a couple, but, you know, he's been able to clean out everything that he's gotten thrown at him. You know, he did take, you know, some damage. We still have another attack going on right now, but the Banelings are out, so that's going to be really good. Will he be able to get some Hellbat action on these drones? Oh man, all the drones are over there, all clumped up. Are they going to be able to get in? It looks like this actually he might be able to take out this entire... This, oh my goodness! Yeah, I was just I to did say, this, not... <sighs> this is the attack that's going to kill Dark, because so... Innovation, did you see how, like, he didn't even scan for the creep? He knew he had a timing window. He didn't wait for the creep to die out. He just ran straight in, spread his army. Dark had Banelings, but then wasted it on the Hellbats, and the Marines stayed completely alive during that entire battle. Yeah. And there was just no way for Dark to fight off once his Banelings had died. There was nothing he had that could that could win against that army. Yeah, that was an amazing game. If it wasn't for that push there, like you were saying, that window of opportunity, taking out that expansion, you know, Dark knew that, you know, after all the pressure that he had been given, losing that was just detrimental. Like, he could not lose that expansion, and he left the game before it even completely went down. He just knew. I'm so happy that the score is 2-2, because if there's one thing that makes a series boring is when one person is just one-sidedly stomping the other one. Right. <laughs> I don't know if you were here for our previous Polygon Invitationals, but uh, Sue versus Innovation. Innovation stomped him 4-1. Oh, and really? Then, and wow. then before that, Sue versus Bunny, Dust Bunny. Sue, mm -hmm. Sue stomped Bunny 4-1, so it was just like... Oh. Yeah. That <laughs> time... Stomps. That time, Felipe and I were the casters, and we were just like, oh my god, like, Sue's so good at ZVT, and the innovation comes on, we're like, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> Innovation's so good at TVZ! <laughs> right, he really yeah. is. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.